come with me to my breast revision slash potential implant exchange. I don't really know what it's called. Look at this zit right now, you guys. Okay, so if you're new, I or if you don't know me, um, I shared that I think it was like two or three years ago. I actually need to look that up, but it was like two or three years ago. I got a lift. So I have a five-year-old. I breastfed for nine months. My boobs got super saggy. They're already kind of saggy before, honestly, but they just got like saggier. And so I got a lift and then I got a small implant, but um, I went through some things, I guess like last year and I gained a lot of weight from my regular, like normal body personally. And then I lost a lot of weight back and um, they are back to being saggy basically that's the long and short of it so we're gonna go through a little consult because i am not happy with them and i would like them perked back up so i think maybe they're gonna do a different implant and then uh the doctor was saying something about maybe doing like a mesh to better support so i'm gonna talk and figure out what my options are also if you were judgy if you were a judge judy just go ahead and keep on scrolling this is not the place or account for you I am just going to share because I know that people are curious and I want to be transparent. So I'm going to share. If that's not for you, keep on tapping. <laughs> yeah. So the first time when you put an implant in and you're doing a lift, you don't have complete control of the pocket because the tissue is going to stretch um, with regard to the size of that implant. And so sometimes what happens over time is the tissue on the side is not very adherent. So the implant wants to migrate that way over time. So when you go back and you do a revision, you can use the capsule, which is a scar tissue around the implant to really tighten the pocket and keep that implant more towards the center so that the patient will be able to maintain their cleavage. It's ultimately what everybody wants. Gotta maintain that cleavage, baby. Yep. So and is this pretty common then? Yes, super common. And so we have way more control now that we have the capsule, which is a scar tissue around the implant, and then we're gonna use the mesh. So that's gonna basically like create a solid space to where that implant is not gonna be able to move to the side when the muscle is constantly contracting and pushing it down and out. Because obviously we want them up and in, and the muscle is always trying to get that implant to go down and out. So that's the tea. Sitting here, my grandma coat. This literally does look like, someone commented on my last video, and was like, it looks like what my mom had at her curtains or her blanket or something when I was growing up. And I was like, that's the point for sure. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. That's the plan. Also disclaimer, I'm not telling anyone else that they need this. Everybody is beautiful. This is just something that I want to do for me, which I'm all about. Do you babe, like do whatever you do, whatever makes you feel good. If you can change something and you want to, and it'll make you happy, go for it. If it's not your cup of tea, don't go for it. Love you guys.